What is up, homie? Have you ever had a fear of going live on the gram, in the Facebooks, maybe even recording a podcast, being interviewed, being in the public eye? I totally friggin' get it. I know, I know, I know. It's like, what am I going to say? What if they're not interested? I've said it all before. What's the new thing? It's already been done. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever the reason you might be have for not going live is no excuse. It's no excuse. People, people, your audience specifically needs to know your secret sauce, needs to know what you have to say. Your audience wants to hear what you have to say. How else are they going to know what you're all about and all the mad, mad skills that you have to share with them? Hmm? How are they going to know about you if you never go live, if you never open your mouth, if you never tell them um, all the good, beautiful, wonderful experience you have in life, teaching, sharing, giving, uh, gifting, whatever service, product, everything you have to offer. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get out there. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. It can be really fun. Okay. Self-proclaimed introvert here. I'm not saying it's easy at all. (laughs) I was always the one behind the scenes, uh, helping my clients, writing their video scripts, writing their emails, uh, not the one in front of the camera or the microphone, it was like, no, there's just a big fat resistance and no from me. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'm going to give you some, some tips to get over this fear, but I, it's like no joke. It, I mean, it's another form of public speaking. Um, and you're just like, what the heck am I going to say? But I'm inviting you to show up as you authentically you be goofy if you want to crack jokes if you want to have a one two three step whatever it takes like if you need to wave your jazz hands just to get over uh the fear of going live uh do whatever it takes pull on whatever resources you need in order to okay look i'll be honest i turned on some amazing music before i even started recording this podcast i did a little a little jiggy, a little dance, got myself, you know, pumped up to talk to you. You're welcome. And, and then I sat down to record. So it's like literally use whatever it takes in order to get yourself amped up. So I'm going to give you a couple tips. (sighs) But aside from being authentically you, this is, that's the thing I talk about all the time. Like be yourself, crack jokes, Make weird voices. I don't care. Do what is authentically you because that's what your people want. Your people want you. Enough of that. Okay, so how can you get over this fear of going live? Talk to one person. Instead of sitting there going, oh my God, who knows how many people will see this? What is my grandma going to (laughs) say? What is my, you know elementary school friend that sat across from me that we used to flick paper football I don't know like whatever you did you know what are they gonna think is it like it does it talk to the one person aka your ideal client talk to that one person I will literally I've said literally way too many times already in this podcast um I will I will say, hey, Natasha, and then I'll hit record. Like, I'll pretend that I'm talking to one of my favorite clients. Be like, hey, Elizabeth, did you feel like a a huge fear about going live ever? Well, here, I'm going to address that for you. You know, and then I talk to that one person instead of thinking, you know, thousands of people might hear this, please. (laughs) I hope a thousand people hear this. Um, But when you're recording and you're nervous and you're thinking there's, you know, hundreds, thousands, whatever people potentially going to listen to what you have to say, it makes it so much easier. And might I add effective if you just talk to the one person. Um, So many layers to that one being it, it limits, you know, it reduces some of your fear if you're just like, oh, it's just me and a buddy, me and an ideal client having a conversation versus I'm public speaking in front of hundreds, thousands, even tens, it doesn't matter, like it's all scary, right? 
So that's one aspect of it. Two, whomever is listening doesn't want to feel like they're just an object among many objects. They want to be talked to as though it's like just just you, just me and you sitting down to have a conversation. Um, so it's more palatable. It's more, it's easier to listen to if you, if you feel like whomever's talking is just talking to you. So you just want to talk to the one person. Okay. So that's one thing to get over some of that fear. Number two, maybe start with Instagram stories. They only last for 24 hours. And oh my God, if you really hate it, you can always delete it. But so you don't have to like worry so much. Like this message is only going to be up for 24 hours. You know, how bad can it be? And just use this as an asset, as a tool to get comfortable in front of the camera. Another really cool one is start a private Facebook group. Everyone who's in that private Facebook group has opted to be in there. They want to hear what you have to say. And even if you just start with a handful of people in a private Facebook group, at least you know they're showing up because they want to. At least you know they're in that group watching the replay or watching your live because they they want to be there. They're in, they've said, yes, please let me join this group. So that's always a little bit helpful too. My all-time favorite is enlisting the help of others. So when I'm afraid to press publish or go live, I will pre-record videos for my stories. I will pre-record my IGTVs. I am pre-recording this podcast. And someone on my team is pressing play, so to speak, is pressing publish, is pushing it out into the universe so I don't have to push that big red button, right? Um, maybe you don't have a team member. That's okay. I'm sure you have a friend, a biz bestie, a family member that is in full support of what you're doing. And they will be like, let me do it for you. I'll press the button. Like, you know, how much easier is it to grab your friend's phone and, and start swiping on, on their Hinge account? Because if, I'm not emotionally invested. I don't care. That person looks nice. Let me, let me do the swiping for you. Versus when you have to do it yourself. Um, I'm married, by the way. So no swiping on Hinge for me. But like, I'm just giving you the example. When there's not an emotional investment, it's so much easier just to press. Yeah, why? Like, I don't care. I would just go live. Who cares what happens next? So do that. Enlist the help of a trusted friend to press that, you know, infamous publish button for you or someone on your team if you really, really, really get afraid of actually making sure other people see your gorgeous face, by the way. Um, and as with anything, the more times you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get. My first challenge, my first, you know, five-day challenge, much more difficult than my second, third, fourth, you know. So my first podcast, harder to record than this one. My you know, you know, multiple, multiple IGTVs, whatever reels in, it's so, it gets easier and it gets easier and it gets easier. It's just like strengthening a muscle. Like at first you're like, okay, give me the two pounder, just one, thanks. Let me lift that for five seconds and then call it a day. And then before you know it, you know, you're picking up much heavier weights. So no difference with this it gets easier and just borrow my belief in you until you know it to be true for yourself. And when you're like, oh my God, what am I going to talk about? Who, who, what, what the heck am I going to say? It's all been said before. Just remember that your voice, your skill set, your experience up into this point, even the thing that you went through yesterday is going to be helpful for your audience. It's going to help them get to their next step, their next baby step, their next big leap. And if you even just help one person create an impact for one person, then I, as I like to say, you've done your job for the day. So um, talk to one person when you're going live. No, hey guys, I hate that so much. Who's with me on that one? Be like, hi, 
so and so and then hit record do you ever feel and use you in within the first five seconds talk to the one person use the word you in the first five seconds and really address and help them feel better help them solve a need entertain them for five seconds you can do that i know you can i believe in you so what are you gonna do today you're gonna go live today so after just turn off this podcast come back to it. Listen to all the other episodes, of course, but turn off this podcast, go get on your Instagram, go get in a Facebook group, go, go live somewhere and just do it for 60 seconds. You can do anything for 60 freaking seconds and answer one of your most frequently asked questions. How about that? How about that for a challenge? I know you can do it. The more you do it, the easier it's going to get. I promise you. I promise you again, self-proclaimed introvert here. Like it's so hard sometimes. I got it. I totally got it. But you weren't meant for small potatoes. No, 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 not you. You're not like those little baby fingerlings. You're a full on Idaho russet big timer potato. Okay. <laughs> Be the big potato that you are. Uh, is that a quotable? Be the big potato that you are. I like this. Um, do it. Do it now. Do it today. Uh, and keep doing it because it will get easier. Go live. I'm so excited for you. Tag me. I want to watch it. I want to know what you're up to. I want to know what big things you're up to. And, um, you know, just have fun. Be yourself and have fun. <laughs>